So what I'd say about the Saturn IV Ultra is it's an amazing 3D printer right off the bat. Is it a game changer? I kind of think it is. It's got a lot of cool features. One of the favorite ones on mine has to be the camera system. So it has an AI camera. It's got intelligent kind of detection systems as well, as well as like a one click kind of self check system every time you turn a 3D printer on. So it's very plug and play, simple to use, looks good and it has pretty good results as well. So in terms of the quality of the machine, it's gonna be the same as most resin 3D printers out there. So it's got the 12K 10 inch LCD screen, it's monochrome, right? So you're not gonna see an increase in the print quality, but a really cool thing is it has a high speed and a low speed mode, which you can just kind of check I think it's, is it in the settings? Print mode. And then you see it's got high speed and low speed. So that's one of the cool features. Um, there's plenty of cool features that we're gonna go through. So let's get into them one by one. So one of the really cool ones is the innovative, innovative um, tilting resin vat technology. So when I first got the 3D printer, I saw like a dip I thought it was actually broken, so I sent out an email, but then um, I turned it on and I noticed that it actually moved. So that's part of the feature of the 3D printer. And basically what it does is it helps with the peeling force. Each time obviously your resin print is lifting, the peeling force obviously happens, but this helps it to kind of spread out the force or the pressure. So it makes it a lot better with decreasing print failures, right? And the really cool thing is rather than the build plate moving up and down, it's actually the resin vat that moves and it basically uh, let's see. yeah instead of the build plate moving it's actually the resin vat that comes up to the build plate and then it peels off along with the tilting technology so that kind of happens all in one kind of move so it's a really cool feature and i think that's what um, enables the high speed printing mode so yeah as we talked about it's got the one click um, self-check system so when you turn the 3D printer on, it goes through a series of checks. So we have the, it's got the release film usage count. So how many times the release film has actually been um, pressed down on the build plate. We've got the status of the LCD screen connection to make sure that's working properly. We have the Z axis motor status, the X axis motor status, as well as the status of the LED light source, the status of the fan, the LED temperature detection, and then um, the mechanical sensor. So it goes through all those checks every time you turn a 3D printer on. Another really cool feature is the resin time lapses that's actually inbuilt into the 3D printer. So you've probably seen a few resin time lapses maybe. Um, this one actually has one built in. So you basically do through the software. First you download Chitu Box, however you say it. And then you download through Chitu Box another software called Chitu Manager. And then that's where you can enable uh, your time lapses. You just hit the toggle button and then that enables on the system. Next time you do a print, you can check the time lapse by going onto the history of the resin prints and then you can just download the file. And the good thing about these time lapses is the camera is actually pretty good. It's not one of those cheap grainy cameras. This one, you can actually see the good kind of quality and detail. You might have to go have like pretty good lighting but overall, it's a really good camera. So along with the camera, I think it's got like an inbuilt intelligent detection system. So it helps with detecting any kind of, um, I think one of the main things is the resin volume sensor. I'm not too sure whether the camera helps with that or the mechanical sensor that I'll talk about a little bit later. So yeah, it has intelligent detections to make sure that some types of failures don't happen and it detects it beforehand. And the cool thing is the resin camera actually has like updates. So if there's some kind of cool new feature that they implement, it can update through the camera firmware. So I think as we mentioned before, it's got the 12K monochrome screen, it's 10 inches. And that's pretty standard with the kind of modern resin 3D printers. So it's gonna be similar in terms of the print quality that you'll get. So yeah, as we mentioned, it's got the smart mechanical sensor along with resin volume detection. So if your resin is too low, it's going to detect that. And it's actually going to give you an error telling you to fill up your resin before you start the print. And I think it also has like um, an inbuilt 
um, residue detection. So if there's something blocking the build plate and the wrap connecting properly, then it should give you an error and tell you to um, basically fix that and then begin printing. So you're gonna have a lot less failures with this 3D printer. Now a really cool thing that I've not seen in any resin 3D printer is the resin heat detection system. So basically a thermometer in the resin vat to tell you how like high the temperature is. Obviously with resin printing, a lot of people haven't heard that um, there's an optimal temperature to decrease print failures, increase your print success. So this is a really cool feature. And I hear that they've released a universal like heat band for resin 3D printers for like the vet. So that should definitely help out. So that's a really cool feature that Aligu has made and it's pretty new to the scene as well. So yeah, as I mentioned before, you have the high speed and the low speed modes, which um, you can just adjust in your 3D printer. So that's a really cool feature there. So if you're looking for something that's a bit more detailed, you probably want to go with the low uh, print speed mode. But still, the high print speed mode still gives you really good quality overall, so you can use either one. So it does also have Wi-Fi connectivity, so just got the antenna on the side, and you can see that there. Yeah, so you have the antenna, you can connect like basically remotely to your computer, and you can 3D print and send 3D prints through the um, computer to the 3D printer. And you can also do like Wi-Fi cluster 3D printing, so say you have multiple 3D printers, and you have maybe like a print farm going on you can control all the printers through the, sh the one software i think it's um chitty box or i think chitty manager gets involved when you start adding the 3d printers so that's a really cool feature for that now, i think i liked a lot is the quick release build plate so up here you have a hinge you can undo the hinge and pull the build plate out all right don't have my gloves on so i won't show you all the way but that's really cool yeah and it just that's definitely a game changer there too obviously it's a small feature but it really makes a big difference in when you're doing the operations like if you have to screw things around then you have to move stuff there's more chance something kind of gets knocked over or you have more of a mess with this quick release build plate it makes just life a lot easier and smoother so that's a really cool feature by all of you now another cool feature is the resin that kind of um, spouts in the corner so if you look at the the resin vat let me just take this off and another thing is these these used to screw in like quite far now they've done it like a lot less so it's easier to take off i remember i'd be like trying to screw this in for like a good 10 seconds so it should be okay to handle that so yeah you got the corner kind of spouts there and on that side as well be real careful with that <laughs> so yeah that just makes pouring the resin out a lot easier so to fill it out it has like a little reservoir where your resin can collect right so i like that feature a lot it's got a capacitive touchscreen so makes it a lot easier to handle um being able to move left and right and actually have good control over the touchscreen, it's a very cool feature. So yeah, using it is like a really good one. Um, with other resin 3D printers, some of the touchscreens aren't that great. So you have to like keep on trying to click something or it's not responding. So this is a really good feature. And then you have the Cobb Fresno Collimating Lens. So let's see, that's quite confusing, but I'll give a quick explanation. Okay, so it has a Cobb light source uh, it emits the 405 nm, um, which is like a light frequency, right? So it's paired with a Fresno collimating lens to deliver exceptional performance. So this is technical stuff. Basically, that's the light system. It works pretty good. Um, so it has a, a field, uni field uniformity of 92%. So it has consistent exposure throughout the entire build volume. So yeah, hopefully that was explained well enough. <laughs> Gave that a good attempt. And then you also have a PFA release film. Um, so it has a non-stick surface that prevents resin adhesion. All right. So when you have like, just those stubborn prints and you have those print failures, this kind of film is gonna help with like having just a lot less print failures. 
So not only does it enhance the performance of your resin 3D printer, but also, so not only does it enhance the performance of your resin 3D printer, but it also um, helps with the increased lifespan of the resin or the PFA film, right? Like with a lot of uh, the film on the, on the side of the vat, it doesn't last as long as you want it to. So this should definitely help out with that. And then finally, we have the resin, the plastic resin drip tray. So let me quickly grab that. So basically it's just like a cool drip tray that you can connect to the 3D printer on the vat just so you can collect the resin drips, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. One second. So here it is, Elegoo. Just slide that in there. And that just comes on there, which is pretty cool. So it helps with having a cleaner just environment. And you know, when you're taking the build plate off and all the resins drip in, that can just collect the resin drops, which is a very cool feature for this uh, for this machine. So salute to the Saturn 4 Ultra. It's an amazing 3D printer. So many features. A lot of them are actually like new as well. So it's not just like a copy of all the other companies which is a lot of what it is with um, 3D printer companies. A lot of it's just similar stuff with a different name on it. So it's nice to see some actual new features and innovations come through with a new release. So let's go through some of the specifications of this machine. So in terms of the layer height, you can go from 0.01 millimeters up to 0.2 millimeters. So that's pretty standard with um, most resin 3D printers, right? The new ones. Now the printing speed has a maximum of 150 millimeters per hour, which is pretty high. Some of the other ones that you see in the market is usually around about 100 millimeters per hour. But this has a pretty good like speed behind it, right? And what else have we got? So the build volume is around 219 millimeters by 123 millimeters by 220. So that's the length is 220. The width is 123 and then the height is 220 millimeters. So that's a pretty good size of the build volume. And then the net weight is 14.5 kilograms. In pounds, is probably around about 30 pounds or so. So some of the basic benefits we've gone through. So the auto leveling system fixes leveling issues. You've got a high speed printing, which is a great feature and a benefit. So you can make easy time lapses with the AI camera that's built in. It's easy to remove the resin vat with the latch system. So it runs the pre-checks to ensure good prints. And then it's easy to reprint previous models based on the, the system. Because it has like a, a history setting that you can literally click and print from there. But it's not like uh, data within, you still have to have the USB um, plugged into that, right? And then one of the downsides that I noticed is the hinge lid is a really cool feature, but it also means that you need to have a bit of clearance at the back um, in order to actually lift up the hinge. So you probably only need about this much space, this much clearance um, in order to be able to lift up the hinge. So it can't be like pressed against the wall uh, if you're lifting up the hinge, right? But you can just push it back after you have. And then another downside I noticed is the test model has a bottom exposure of 35 seconds. So obviously you're gonna do your test model and this exposure is way too high. <laughs> so it took me a long time to actually remove the test model because, because of that like bottom exposure. Uh, end up, ended up having to use um, a Zacto knife to get underneath, it was really thin. And it ended up it kind of, not very much, but kind of damaged a little bit of a chip on the print. Mm -hmm. So. Reducing the bottom exposure to around 25 seconds, I found was a pretty good value. So keep that in mind. So yeah, the unboxing and assembly, um, I'll show some pictures of you know what I took. So the packaging is very good. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much plug and play. Like once you put the power supply in and you turn it on, it does the pre-checks, you pour some resin in, you put your USB in, and then you just get to printing. Okay, now with that out of the way, we've gone through the features. I've told you about my experience with it in some ways, and then obviously the specifications. Now let's move on to the print quality. So here is the Elegoo Rook. Now you can see what I was talking about in terms of the damage a little bit, but other than that, the quality of the Rook 
very good you can see the writing is very clear and obviously you have the top side now you probably notice these red things on there right i actually forgot to take the the like the wrapper of the bill plate <laughs> i was a little bit too eager and then all the lettering fell off from that but i was like it kind of looks cool so i was just like you know whatever so here's a right in on the bottom side can you see that roll there we go nice focus so that comes out really well right got all the features and details got a few other models so we got this snake venom model this is a really cool one this is by photos mint so most of the models i did i've got a photos mint uh, patreon and downloaded and printed these models so yeah it's amazing detail in this one right very cool now let's go to another one we've got uh, this one <laughs> i love this one here if you've seen dean or other um similar movies or well, not similar movies but yeah you recognize the character this is glossy raban so this is a very cool 3d print right here amazing detail so yeah but this one actually did have a few faders beforehand let's ignore that <sighs> okay so as i was saying so yeah that model did have a few failures beforehand so this is one of them i'm not too sure what happened exactly here but yeah had a big gap in between there this kind of like yeah had another piece attached but it was wasn't that great so what i actually did is i up my exposure time to i think 2.8 seconds up from 2.5 and then i did another model this ended up happening and it was a weird error i'm not actually too sure why it happened but at some point it just said the data stream or transfer um had stopped working so i'm not too sure if something there was something to do with the power um but yeah actually another feature is it has power loss recovery so yeah that's another feature i forgot to mention but yeah so i'm not too sure what happened there maybe the usb or disconnected somehow but yeah other than that we've got another print Oops. so yeah we've got another print that's kratos a lot of you might recognize oh yeah that's really cool that's also by photos mint great detail on there yeah that's great love the beard as well all the details and then finally We've got, last but not least, Water White, Breaking Bad. <laughs> so this is a really cool print. The best part is the glasses, how well that's done. But yeah, the amazing just detail. Comes out really nice. So yeah, those are some of the 3D prints, the print quality. It's not going to be anything too different from what you noticed but yeah the main thing about the the saturn 4 ultra is the new features that came with it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the review um yeah i definitely highly recommend getting this 3d printer especially if you're a beginner because it's so simple with the plug and play and then the detection systems to help out with any potential failures right so you're going to decrease your failures, it's got good longevity, easy to use, high quality and prints fast as well. So highly recommend this guys. I'll probably have like a link in the description to buy this for yourself, the Sample Ultra. So yeah man, happy printing. <laughs>